Hello, Mark here, and in today's Lightroom Classic Quick Tip, we're going to be looking at zooming in and out of our images. So without any delay, let's jump across to Lightroom Classic. Now here I am in Lightroom Classic, I'm running version 12.4. Before I show you this little tip, I'd like to tell you about our Lightroom support group. Most Monday evenings, 7 p.m. UK time, I host a small community of Lightroom, Lightroom Classic and Photoshop users that we investigate a theme, a task and answer your questions regarding Lightroom Classic, Lightroom and Photoshop. So exactly what we're doing tonight is one of the questions that was asked to us a few weeks ago. How do I zoom in to my images? So without further ado, let's get on with the, uh, the task in question. So firstly, I'm here, library module. If we go to top left hand corner, we have navigator. So let's just close that panel here. We have the navigator here and we have the image. Now we have fit and fill as the first drop down. Fit is you're fitting the whole of the image in the available space that we have. Fill means we are filling the screen with the image. So the image will go to the whole width of the screen. Now if I press tab, tab again, I'm filling the screen. I press tab again, my panels will come back and I'll just hide the right hand panel. So that's fit and fill. Now, most times I will use fit. I want to see the whole image with the gray background. In my case, gray, and you can change the color of the background. I want to see that whole image. Now, the next box you can't change. It's 100%. So you go click and it zooms in at 100%. Go back to fit and it fits the screen. Now, the next drop down is a selectable zoom. So you can choose what zoom ratio you would like. So 50%, 100%, and just clicking on the drop down will change what size you want. Okay, 200%, 300%, 50% again will change. And they are mirrored down the bottom on the slider. So we have this zoom slider at the bottom and we can zoom in and out. So this is currently 97.1%. If we go back up to the top left hand corner, 97.1%. It's exactly the same. So they're mirroring each other, but they are just sliders or drop down menu. Okay, quite straightforward and easy to understand. Now we have a couple other ways. When we're in the navigator, we can click on with our mouse single click okay and that will jump into the ratio that we've selected so 66 percent and click in click out click in click out click in click out okay when you click in the hand will come up and we can move around the screen we can do the same in if we get clicking quite let's say 200 percent we get the box we can put the mouse over the box and move around our screen we can use arrow down and it'll cycle down the screen. If I use page, it'll go top and bottom. Okay, so nice little shortcuts there, keyboard shortcuts. Now, if we hold the command key, we can draw a box. That's command or control. We can hold the draw box and it'll fill the screen with what's in the box. So, so I'll do that again. So I'm going to come over here to this tent over and I'm drawing in and it'll jump in. So I press on the, if I click on the screen again, it'll go back to what my last zoom was. Okay, so that's a nice little, just draw a box. There you go, I want to go into that area and it'll jump into the middle of that area. Okay, so that's a nice, that's holding the command or control key. Okay, so very, very simple ways of, of using those tools. Now there's one additional way that we can do this and it's only in the develop module. So we press D for develop. And what we can do, it's called the scrubby zoom. Wherever I place my cursor, if I hold the shift key, up comes the magnifying glass. 
and now if I go right it zooms in and I go left on my mouse it zooms out right zooms in left zooms out if I move over to another place I go right zooms in left zooms out okay that's called the scrubby zoom and you can keep doing that but it's only available in the develop module now I hope today has been of some help for you today please like subscribe if you wish ask a question in the comments and why not join us learnlightroom.co.uk Monday evenings and our support group lots of other free how-to videos there as well take care stay safe bye for now